Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you what I eat in a day. And it's the weekend, so I have a little bit more extra time today. I am going to be making blueberry pancakes and scrambled eggs, a protein smoothie, and a pineapple chicken Buddha bowl. I like to start my morning with warm water and lemon. There are many health benefits such as reduced inflammation and it cleanses the system. It's also important to take multivitamins daily to ensure you're getting enough nutrients. So let's get into this video. It's pancake time. First step is to wash your blueberries with cold water. In a large bowl, whisk one large egg, one and a quarter cup pancake mix, one cup of milk, I like to use oat milk, and mix all the ingredients together until you get a smooth batter. Just make sure you don't over mix. Add any fruit of your choice, this is optional. I'm adding fresh blueberries to give me a boost of antioxidants. These berries are high in potassium and vitamin C, which helps in lowering your risk of heart disease and cancer. And they're also an anti-inflammatory. Cook the pancakes on low heat. Grease the pan with oil, flip the pancakes when the top bubbles, and the pancakes should be a nice golden brown. To make the scrambled eggs, crack approximately two eggs per person. You can add cream or milk, this is optional, and some salt and pepper to taste. Cook the eggs on low heat. Breakfast is served. The whole family will enjoy this healthy meal, even those picky eaters too. So I just had a workout and now I'm going to share with you how I make my protein shake. So my favorite protein powder that I like to use is called the Diesel New Zealand Whey Protein. There is 24 grams of protein. It has an amazing taste, easy to mix, and vanilla ice cream flavor. I like having peanut butter and banana smoothie as a post-workout meal. I like this because I get the three macronutrients in this meal by getting the healthy fats from the peanut butter, also I get the protein from the whey protein, and carbs from the 100% whole grain quick oats. The whole grain oats help thicken up the smoothie, making it more filling. I like to add frozen berries such as raspberries and mangoes or whatever frozen fruit I have in my freezer at the time. I add several ice cubes to make the smoothie colder and thicker as well. I also add oat milk for the liquid and a tiny bit of orange juice for taste. The orange juice gives a little bit of a tangy flavor and this combination tastes so good to me. Please try this recipe out and let me know in the comments what you think. I'm sure you're going to like it too. lunch and post-workout meal. Hi guys, so it's dinner time and today I'm going to be preparing a protein rice bowl, also known as a Buddha bowl. 
So I always like to have a complex carb such as rice, sweet potato, and then uh, lean proteins such as chicken breast, shrimp, salmon, ground turkey, and then a healthy fat. And I like to add avocado or drizzle on olive oil on my salad. And then I like to put lots of greens. So today in my Buddha bowl, I'm gonna use uh, lean chicken breast and white rice and then avocado and lots of greens, lots of vegetables. And I'm gonna show you how it's done. So keep watching. Rinse the rice with cold water to remove surface starch from the rice grains. In your rice cooker, add one cup of rice, two cups of water. Double up the measurements if needed. I'm adding some olive oil and Greek seasoning to flavor the rice. You can use any seasoning you want or just keep it plain. Next, cut up a juicy ripe pineapple and grill it until you get some nice grill marks. I'm using a George Foreman grill. While the rice is cooking, it's time to go ahead and grill that well-marinated chicken breast for about six to eight minutes on high heat. Once cooked, it's extremely important to let that chicken rest for at least five to 10 minutes before cutting into it. This will allow all those delicious juices to stay locked in so the chicken stays moist and not spill out and get dry. Dinner, bon appetit. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also, if you want a change of scenery and want tips to make over your backyard, check out my beautiful backyard transformation video. Thanks for watching. Bye.